uh, in front of you and I did it already when, when I heard the news and I'm really quite happy because of him. Quite a brilliant lad and uh, even better even better player I would say. Uh, he deserves, he had a brilliant season from, from the beginning, uh, from day one and he show his, he's showing his, I would say, he's really mature for his age. Um, to be honest, he looks for me 14, 15, not like 19 year old, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, how he plays, he doesn't look that he is 19, he looks with his experience that he played already a couple of years here with us and um, hopefully he will stay for a long time here. Sadio. Everybody is happy for him and uh, I think um, we all congratulate him and uh, also he's young and he's working hard all the time training and he's doing very well and uh, he do a great great season and uh, honestly I think he deserves to, to be uh, in this uh, World Cup. Again to you both um, as well, what does it mean to be going to a Champions League final now? I would say it's um, a dream come true for everyone of our players and uh, from my personal view you know, I always dream to be in the Champions League and of course I dream to one day to lift the trophy. Now we have, uh, I would say, our biggest chance in our lives. For some of us, maybe it's the only one. For some of us, it will be many more, hopefully. Uh, but, mm, you know, we need to be proud of ourselves. We, we did a great job from the beginning. When you, when you look back, the the playoffs against Hoffenheim, uh, you know, at the end, when you look all together this this road, we really deserve to be in the final and uh, hopefully uh, in many years from now we can say to our kids and family that we did our best and that we won the trophy. So, you know, we have nothing to lose. Uh, we will give our best into the final and um, everyone is fit and ready, and we just can't wait to start. Like Dijon says, it's a, big, it's a dream become true. And uh, it was not easy. If you see from, we have been the playoff against Offenheim and also group stage, and now we are in the final. Maybe surprise for many of people, so. But uh, for us, it's something um, we have been always believing and as a team we push together and we suffer together today we're in the final so we're gonna go there try to do our best like always and uh, why not win the, the trophy Dejan what have you had to say to Modric and Kovacic ahead of this game and should they fear maybe your front three this weekend that, do you mean that I, that I talk to him or yeah. what if he's going to them what have you had to say to them and have you warned them about your front three, should they be your front three this weekend? Like I said, uh, we, we've been talking um, uh, before the semi-finals, before the draw, and uh, I said, uh, you guys, I want to I wanna catch you for the final. And they said, OK, we are like, we are ready for you. So I said, yeah. uh, let's see what will happen. And um, yeah, we, now we are in the final. It's, you know, it's for them, they're already three in a row in the final and I would say they are used to it uh, but uh, again you know they also they are really a competitive team who wants to catch uh, something impossible and you know for them uh, they they can make they made already history with that uh, uh, but again they they can uh, beat it but uh, you know f for us also we have something to catch um, I would say all squad is the first time in the final of the Champions League and um, we know what we're playing for. Uh, we know from day one how it hard it was in the pre-season in, in, in China or somewhere and we you know uh, it will be, uh, I would say, a great final to enjoy. We need to enjoy every minute on the, on the, on the pitch and uh, uh, hopefully we can at the end uh, go with a smile. Sadio, why does it work so well between the front three of yourself, Mo Salah and Roberto? Oh. Like I always said, I've been always enjoying to play alongside of uh, these great players and 
to make everything easier for me and uh, yeah and the lucky boys always we talk about front three but they forget the book or start from the Thank you, thank you. <laughs> they make us easier, so I think uh, the, the, the power of uh, Liverpool, the, the Liverpool Football Club is the collective and um, we always uh, do and uh, do everything together. I think uh, this is our power. 19 goals for you now this season. Are you at peak form, do you feel? Again? 19 goals for you now this season, isn't it? Are you at peak form, do you feel now? Yeah, I think more goals coming. <laughs> <laughs> and um, of course, I'm I'm happy and uh, um, especially a striker, you will love to, you will love to score every single game and uh, to help your team. And now we have uh, one more important game in your career, and why not to try to to do our best and score for the team and win the trophy. One final thing for you both from me: if Liverpool are to win a sixth European Cup this weekend, do you think that would also guarantee the Ballon d'Or for Mo Salah? I will, I will ask. Yeah, come on. <laughs> um, of course, mm. I spoke to Mo more about that, but uh, it's still a like, quite early stage. But you know, if if we win that, definitely he's one of the contenders. He can be in the top three, the best players in the world, and uh, um, he has the quality. He has this uh, this world class. Um, experience already and uh, uh, he's still in our calm um, a man down to earth and uh, he deserves every credit every goal what he he scored for now um, you know and definitely we will help him to achieve this uh, dream for himself himself personally best player in the world at the moment man, for you. Uh, definitely you know when when you score <laughs> 40, 34, 44. 34 in the Premier League and no? 44. 44, you know, definitely, you know, when you when you look Messi, Ronaldo, it's Mo Salah, you know, he deserves to be at the top three. Thank you. Any next questions? Yes, Can you just um, talk about the impact that Virgil's had since he's come in and also the effect he's had on you, what effect he's had on you as a personal person? I said them many times. Uh, you know, it's it's always good to receive quality, and uh, Virgil has definitely the quality that he helped the team to improve, uh, of course, defensively, uh, and also to bring this uh, uh, this calmness and into the team. And um, you know, of course, uh, I feel also personally. Uh, much more confident, you know, when you know you have a really good partner behind next to you, and uh, um, he showed he showed already in Southampton that he's one of the best defenders here in the Premier League, and uh, um, you know uh, it's great that we didn't took so much time to to connect between each other, you know, in in the game usually it takes more, but like I said, with the quality, when you have the quality. You show the quality next day, and uh, you feel it in, in, in the team. And this is also how I feel. And um, you know, we had quite good <coughs> games this season. Um, yeah. Just um, for uh, for both of you, um, Real Madrid has, has won two in a, in a row and uh, in, in, a, in the third final. Um, is the book's favourite? Is that uh, something good for Liverpool or something bad? That the fact that Madrid comes come as, as favourite for the title. Not all. Can you say again, please? Yes. Because <laughs> yes. uh, Real Madrid has won uh, two Champions League in a row in last year, the year before, yeah. and is the favourite for the uh, bookies. Uh, and do you think it's, this is positive for Liverpool, the fact that uh, Madrid has the pressure to, to win it? Honestly, I, I don't know for them, but uh, for us, I think, um, like I said, it's one of the more important games in our career. And uh, of course, it will be not easy because we know they, they have experience and uh, also they have qualities on the teams. and. Um, we respect them a lot, but uh, we also have um, 
players and the staff to, to beat any, any team in the world. So we're going to go there and try to do our best and create them the, the most problem we can and try to win the game. Dan, one of those three players you mentioned is going to be wrapped up against you on, on Saturday, Ronaldo, obviously. What's the keys to, to, to limiting his effectiveness? Because he always seems to find a way in these games to be a decisive man. Yeah. Well, you know, Ronaldo, Salah, uh, Messi need to respect these players a lot, and uh, he's already in this kind of game. 12, 15 years, every year he scores more than 30 goals. Even if he has a bad season, he scores 30 goals. So you need to, you need to, of course, you need to pay attention to that. But uh, uh, we play uh, also in the Premier League one of the, uh, against one of the best strikers in the, in the world, you know, and uh, we know how to defend like a team. Uh, you know, uh, when you want to, to stop Ronaldo, we will stop him together. Of course, in some parts of the game, it will be uh, one against one, and uh, you know it will be tough. But it's a challenge that uh, that I'm ready for it, and uh, I've been working so much uh, hard to to come into the final of the Champions League, and uh, I'm I'm ready for for everything. Okay. Any other questions? Just look at it. Uh, what is more important for you? Uh, we are just around the corner for the World Cup. Uh, winning the Champions League or maybe winning the World Cup? <laughs> oh, you want to go? <laughs> of course, we, we, want, we want to win both. <laughs> no, you know, uh, if it's next week, the World Cup, uh, then it's... It's the World Cup, but now it's next. You know, on the weekend it's the Champions League. So we are now really focused just on the Champions League. Uh, <sighs> you know, we have so many games to the to the World Cup uh, to go. So it's not really now <laughs> to talk about uh, the time to talk about the World Cup. No. Okay, gentleman from Rome. Uh, yeah, uh, just a question. Actually, leading off that about the World Cup for Sadio, mm. um, how do you think Senegal will do? In Russia, are you confident of getting out of the group stages? Yeah, of course. I know we we have a um, tough group, um, honestly. But uh, you have a tough group. What should I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I always said, you you have to believe yourself, and you have to believe what you're doing all the time, and uh, try to 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 do uh, the job together and. Hopefully we're going to qualify. <laughs> do, you, do you feel the pressure of being Senegal's main man? Like, Honestly, I'm personally, I don't know the more the world pressure all the time because football is my, my job. I always enjoy to always enjoy. So I think uh, it's not important to put yourself pressure. The main man, I think uh, the main man all the time is the team. So of course, uh, the collective is the more important and make us uh, really good. <coughs> Any final questions? Uh, they had, uh, Liverpool fans have travelled far and wide all over Europe. They're spending hundreds, thousands of pounds to get this final. Do you have a message for the fans travelling to Kiev? Yeah, if you don't have a ticket, don't don't go. No, <laughs> <laughs> no it's uh, you know it's 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 brilliant to to see how many fans uh, are supporting us in these. I would say final of the week, and it's brilliant, you know, to to see um, the red shirts, red shirts around the stadium. I wish I could give everyone a ticket, but it's really not possible, you know. And um, but I know people will really support us here in Liverpool, around the world, uh, mm -hmm. on every stadium and on every corner that I know. And um, you know, we know that that they are behind us and uh, like I said many times they are all 12th men on the pitch or outside the pitch. Okay.